exciting day today at Garden Ninja HQ because we've had some germination of the recent seeds I've sown. So the first ones out the gate were the Achillea. Now Achillea needed a really specific temperature but around about 20-21 degrees to germinate. So I did move those inside because we had some really bad weather here, um, the temperature in the greenhouse dropped considerably. So those have been inside and they've germinated and you'll be able to have a look at those now. And now out in the greenhouse, I did end up bringing in the greenhouse heater. As I said, there was a real temperature drop and I couldn't risk losing the seedlings that were about to germinate. So if you have a look down here, I'm gonna walk you through the seeds that have taken on and started to germinate. So the Luzula, which are just down here, haven't started to germinate, but they are a long, slow burn of a seed, so I'm not really expecting them to have. We've then got Celine at the back over there, Oop, over there, and um, they've not germinated yet either, neither has the Million, which again is a slow burn. Down here, <laughs> for squat, we've got the Mexican Fleabane, again, I think that can take about 40 days to germinate, so it's, it's a real long way. But, Forage there, da, 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 da. it's germinated. We are still a bit of a shaky cow moment, waiting on Hellaniums. We know that they need stratification, so they've been in a cold frame, chilling outside for a couple of weeks. Same with the Astrantia, they can take, I think, 80 days, worst case, to germinate. But hopefully, I can speed those up. Everything else is still bobbing along nicely. I and mean, if you check my blog, you'll be able to see which ones came out the gate first and which containers they were in. another two weeks on now and we've had another set of seedlings that have germinated so things are really moving along quickly now as you might be able to see it's raining again but here in the greenhouse these seedlings are protected from the elements so we can keep a relatively consistent temperature and environment which is key so if you have a look down here you'll see the scabious that I'm growing called Beaujolais bonnet and that's a red scabious now these have started to germinate and they've got their true leaves so when a seedling grows, you'll get its seed leaves, which kind of, they look a little bit like tiny discs, like really basic leaves that, that bring the seed to life and allow it to start to, to photosynthesize. And then you get the true leaves, which are the true shape of the, the end result. So they will look slightly differently. And you want to pick them out once you get the true leaves. Um, but that's probably a video for another time. Now, if we look down here, and I'll do a close up, you can see that the Hellaniums have started to germinate. Now, they're probably the trickiest seeds in this glass house to germinate because they need stratification. Now, there's more of that on my website if you want to know more. But basically, it's a cold and then a warm snap that they need to germinate. The seedlings are absolutely minute, but I'm really excited because they've germinated. So they're going to need a bit of TLC. Soon enough, they'll start to grow their true leaves and they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. Here are the Hellaniums. Da, 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 just there, careful to damage it. That's the seedling that I've been looking for. So the next set of videos will be on thinning the seedlings and pricking them out. And you're taking them from the seed trays and beds and putting them into their own modular containers. So that's the next video and that's going to happen as soon as these ladies are ready to be moved on. So that's my update on the Gardening Without Plastic experiment so far. And the seedlings are coming along nicely. It's really exciting. Me and Barry are going to go back inside and have a nice cup of tea. But if you like this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? There are loads more garden design hints, tips and hacks. If you're a fan of the Gardening Without Plastic movement, let me know on social media, share this post. Let's try and get as many people as we can choosing alternatives to plastic and just reusing stuff in the garden. I've been Garden Ninja. Happy gardening.